quickly i want to show you guys how you can export your drawing from a lower version of revit to a higher version let's say your drawing was produced in revit 2019 and then you need something from that 2019 in 2024 for example you need a title block in revit 2024 so what we are going to do is this is an original drawing that was done in revit 2019 so i'm going to duplicate it if i open it with revit 2024 and i save it i won't be able to downgrade it again so that is why i have to copy it okay so i'm going to go to revit 2024 now this is revit 2024 i'll click open this is the folder where that file is you can see this is it here so i select it and open it it's upgrading from revit 2019 to revit 2024 you can see the upgrade here let's wait until it's done upgrading when it's done upgrading i'll come back let me pause the video for a while it's done upgrading right now i am in revit 2024 now assuming i am working on a project that project has to be open at the background okay so i'm going to open that project in your revit 2024 you can see i've opened the two project now this is the one i opened from revit 2019 and this is the one i am currently working on okay this is the one i'm currently working on and you can see the title block here doesn't have my consultant details doesn't have the client details and if you select it you see the name of the title block look at the name of the title block here okay so what i will do now is i want to load the title block from this particular project okay see the old project i want to load this title block into the new project so all you need to do is simply select the title block go to go to your sheet go down go to the, your sheet select one of the the sheet and click on the title block the moment you select the title block you know title block is a family you see family editor will be activated you can see edit family then you click edit family change the name of the client change the name of the client to the new client okay let it be in capital letter i'm not saying is it must be in capital letter but i prefer to be in capital letter okay just for so i have changed the name of the client now and add your consultant detail your logo your address your phone number email address your website and the rest of them okay now the next thing is save it save that title block save it as save as family ensure you select the folder the folder you want to save it in give it a name the name of the client
title lock and on the option select one so that the backup will not be too many and save it okay so i have saved this title block with my new client's name now okay once this is done you can now load it into your new project okay if you look at the project that are open at the background now we have three projects that are open at the background this one is the old project that i imported from revit 2019 and this is the current project i am working on this is the title block that i am editing okay so this is the particular project i want to load it into which is already selected if it is not selected ensure you select it and click ok it will load it into that project now you can see it has loaded it into the new project i am going to click escape okay now what i will do now is since i have already placed all this one on the sheet before all I need to do at this moment is simply select one of the title block. Look at the name. This is this is not the new client I'm working I'm working for yet. So I select it. If I click on it, select all instances in entire project. Okay. You can see all those title block in this particular project has been selected now. So I will now go to this uh, type selector. I will now select the new one I have loaded into this project, which is this um, Timothy title block. Okay. Timothy is our new client. Okay, so you can see it has replaced all of them now. Can you see that? If you go, to, if you check all of them now, you see that all of them have been replaced with Timothy title block. Can you see? So that is how you can replace all your title block from an old drawing into the new drawing or project okay now let's go to converting it to pdf now in revit 2024 so all i need to do is once i have set everything i have edited everything and i'm okay i want to convert it to pdf now so what i'll do is i'll hit ctrl p from here at this point if adobe pdf is not showing here it means that you don't have acrobat x pro installed on your system so ensure you have installed it on your system check inside your bonus you see the link there go there and install it okay so once you have installed it if you look through all these um, plotter or printer, whatever, Adobe is one of them. This is the one I use most. And uh, sometimes I also use um, Microsoft Print to PDF. I use this one also. But let's use this one for now. Okay, so I have selected that. I make sure five combined multiple selected views is selected then come down here select views go back make the, make sure that this is selected okay then you are going to click on setup then you select your paper size 
select the orientation which is landscape make sure this is on offset from corner then select user defined type 15 here type 7 here then type 95 here let this one be on zoom and let this one be on color let this one be on high then once you are done with that saving save it okay so that next time you don't have to be saving is setting it every time then click ok here you are going to select all those sheet now you can see only one is selected here so i want to select all those one that i have already placed on sheet so i am going to uncheck this one so that it will reveal all other ones that have not been selected before and you see them they are all here okay they are all here for me to select only sheet i will need to uncheck all this one i don't want other views i want only sheets okay so that is why i have to click on on this drop down select only sheets and you see that if i uncheck sheets all of them will disappear so that is the only one I want for now. Now you can now select all of them. You can even select all, check all here to make your work faster. Okay, now the good thing in higher version of Revit is that you can organize this so that the uh, printing order will be according as you have arranged them now to edit the order click on edit printing order okay now this one this number 13 should not come first number 13 should come after 12. then number section a should follow roof then section b to follow section A. So this is the order I want to print them. From cover page to locational map, site layout, ground floor plan, first floor, second floor, roof plan, section A, section BB, approach, right, rear, left, door and window schedule. Assuming I have detailing now, if there is a detail in this project i'm going to add that detail in between the second section and the elevation but since we don't have detail now let's proceed so i can click ok now you see all of them are arranged in our printing order once this is done you are going to save it save current set okay so i have saved the current set i am going to click select then i will click ok it will take me to the folder where i want to print it okay let's print it now is converting it to pdf now let's wait okay now you can see they have been converted to pdf now so that is how you can import your drawing from a lower version of revit to revit 2024 and convert it to pdf there i hope you understand the training here you do 
don't forget to give me a video testimonial thank you for watching this video see you in the next video bye